Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who register through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a scattered dot canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. For our longtime watchers this month, I've got it in a manila envelope, so not so much of the glare during the video process. Um, also, for those following along to our uh, bag tags, um, I did sneak in one extra uh, little supply here that I think will make this project kind of fun. Um, so inside, everyone is getting a six by eight black canvas. About half of them have the plastic on them um, and the other half are already open. Um, I'm also including one of our Pflugerville Public Library pencils and these pencils are actually so fun. They are heat change. So, but also we're going to use that as a dotting tool. Additionally, um, the kits will have these still in their original packaging. These are the embossing tool from Dollar Tree. So they've got one end that has a slightly larger um, ball to it and then one very fine tipped end there that you can't even barely see. Um, so we've got our paints. Uh, mostly these are pretty standard. You've got a solid white. Um, I do have a green, a basic green, uh, spectral green, sergeant acrylic, and then some fun colors. Uh, if you often do these, you'll know I love sparkles or metallics. So um, this U.S. Art Supply is actually a magic aqua violet iridescent. So I thought that one was cool. Um, some other greens, a darker, a pearl olive green, and a pearl lime green for our lighter colors. And then one final kick in there is this pearl apricot orange, um, just for kind of an orangey yellowish um, to go in with uh, our leaf design. Uh, this original uh, design that you see in the picture has some other colors there. So if you've got some leftover golds or any other colors, you might pull those out um, and they could go, go well for this project. So our extra bits, um, I in the little plastic bag, this is actually um, like carbon paper, but it is white to go onto our black canvas. And then I printed out a few examples of different leaves that you might do um, on your canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my paint pots. Now the standard green and the white are gonna be a little bit fuller than the others. Um, these tubes didn't have as much paint. And because we're using such small dots for this project, uh, you really don't need a ton of paint and you're probably still gonna have a bunch left over. Um, so if you wanna do this again on another project uh, using these paints, you should be able to. Uh, since my canvas has the plastic on it, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this plastic off. I could get it started ahead of time, so this would look a little easier. Um, and then I'm gonna wanna decide what kind of design I want on my canvas. I've already got a little mark there. Really, I kind of like this big, long set of leaves here. I included like a maple leaf, some oak, some other fun things. And of course, this isn't the only shapes that you could do. Uh, we'll pop in real quick with the ex other example that I created. Um, so this here is actually um, some leaves and these were freehand drawn. So if you want to and you feel comfortable freehand drawing something on there, that's great. Um, and then the little sunflower here, all done with that scattered dot um, with a gradation between the darker and light colors in there. And in my leaves, some of those like bluer um, and a little dark gold, kind of a yellowy greens thrown in there as well. So there's really a lot you can do um, with this very basic dotting technique. So our uh, carbon paper here, is going to have kind of like a shiny side um, and a flat side. And I believe we are putting our flat side, or no, I'm sorry, it's our shiny side down. 
shiny side down. I'm going to bring my um, printout of the leaves. Now I could just go ahead and like freehand draw something if I wanted a little heart down here in the corner like that. Just using my the small end of my dotting tool as my point. And then when I lift, I see, I'll have to lift this towards the camera so you can see that my transfer is there so I can follow those lines. This is a project where if you feel comfortable freehanding it, you are more than welcome to. Um, but for those of us who our drawing skills are a little less, actually, I think I want to do this guy with the veins and the inside, maybe a couple of them. Um, so I have a couple options. I could just follow the single line of this leaf, just following right along there. Right there. Lift that up, lift my carbon paper up, and there's one first leaf. Come down, back down. I'm going to go a little bit different. I could also, if I can see through this side of the paper, I can also do that and come right down through here, tracing off my leaves there. So now I've got my two leaves um, and this I'll be able to use to kind of keep my dotting in the path that I want. Um, again, I could just go freehand. Eventually, once you're, uh, you've got your dots on there, uh, this will come off with an eraser. I can pull that right down. So now I don't have the little stem tail there. Um, so I could come through Maybe I pushed a little too hard and my transfer is very dark, so I'm going to just lighten that up a little bit before I start dotting. Um, we'll show you the one I began. I started prepping um, with dots, so you can see there is that. And then here on the bottom is where I started to erase that white line. Just right there is where the line starts up again. Um, so since this has had some time to dry, before I start with my other colors, I can come in with my pencil's eraser and just get right in there and remove those lines. And my dots, my little white dots should stay fine there on that. Depending if you like the look of them in there, you could totally leave that as well. Um, that's up to you. So on this, as you see, I've got some of my dotting already started. This first step is going to be your white dots. That's our outline. That's going to give us the shape where we're going to come in back in with our other colors. Uh, so again, there are two sides to the dotting tool, one that has a larger and one that has a smaller. And then we've provided the pencil as another way to make very large dots. Although depending on your design, you may not want um, dots where they're quite that large. So I'm just going to make sure that my pencil has a full amount of paint on the bottom all the way across and probably a little less than that um, and then so like this dot here I can just kind of come back lightly press not even all the way down onto the canvas just to kind of give it um, that dot on there and not spread too much beyond but I kind of liked that where actually that's right taking a little bit of that paint off and I come back and actually right here where that next to the leaf starts. I want a bigger dot. So then right there, as each of my sets of leaves starts, I've got that bigger dot. Uh, you may want to grab a paper towel for this just to kind of clean off your dotting tool um, in between. Or if you don't feel like you mind getting paint on your fingers, you can also wipe off with your fingers, which is something mid-process I've fully been known to do. Um, so I'm going to start with the larger size of that. I'm just going to grab up some paint, not too much, but making sure I cover all the way around. That way, these first couple dots I place after putting the paint on here on the tool are going to be larger. So, fairly close. And I can also tap a few more times to add a little bit more paint. Go back to my paint well. And if I keep going several in a, in a row, you'll see they start to get smaller. And that's naturally going to happen as there is less and less paint on your dotting tool, which is what you want to happen. 
Now, hopefully you notice that the, towards the center of the design and towards the end are where my larger dots are. So I'm going to start with a larger dot at the point and then dot down till I get some smaller dots. Same, I'll dot again over this, larger up to smaller. And that gives that gradation throughout your um, design. And because this isn't quite the same as like doing a mandala where everything is very uniform, this is scattered dots. So this, you can have some smaller dots come in. And I'm also gonna use the paint that's on the side of the dotting tool that I can use to, if I need to make some of my dots a little bit bigger. Don't worry, you can always come back to your dots, add a little bit more paint to them. Oh, we've got that one little other area here. I can also take to my smaller side, again, just picking up paint on the tip and using that to come in and fill in any gaps that I feel like I might have along my leaf edges. So now I've got kind of my leaves mocked out there. Use my paper towel to wipe off my tool between colors. Actually, I do want to make my bottom an even bigger circle. There we go. All the way through. I'll wipe that pencil off. Now, as I mentioned, when looking at this, you'll see that my darker colors for this all are basically along the right hand side. So I'm going to take my darker colors, my standard green here, and I'm going to, so it would be as if the light source for our image is coming from this left side. So my darker colors are going to be along here. corners of this guy and I'm really just scattering dots scattered dot canvas I'm gonna come back through with the colors multiple times till I'm comfortable with how I've got it looking Give a lot there on that top one with the darker color, it may be a little tough to see on the video. I haven't done any dark dots in this one. Get my green there. All right. Wipe off in between colors. I think I'm going to go with my pencil for this olive green color. I'm just one. One or two spots. Right here. So I've added some bigger dots for this olive green. Uh, let me bring in some of our, our teal. What do we call this aqua to violet iridescent. And it's a little on the darker side, so I'm going to stay, but I'm going to start bringing that into kind of the left hand of my leaves where I'm really using to indicate that there's a little more light. But, and I'm not too concerned with as with are my dots completely perfect. Let's do some finer dots here. I can really with that finer point, I can get very close to the edge of the design and not worry too much. Again, as your colors dry, you're going to come back through and you're going to add more dots as you need them, uh, in, even into the point of overlapping your dots. Um, those you'll want to kind of give this a little bit of time to set before you really start overlapping. So honestly, this is a great project to start with this video, 
just kind of give it some feeling. So this is my Lime Pearl Lime Green. That's definitely one of my lighter colors. I want this along this left of my leaves. Oh, and that one got really close to the edge, but that's totally okay. He'll be fine. It's going to look great from a distance. And when it all comes together, so I've got my baby dots are kind of over here. My lighter shade. All right, I'm going to bring this pearl in. Or this apricot peach, I, I want to say. It was a nice, nice color. And I am starting now even to overlap occasionally near some of my other dots. I'm trying very hard not to um, smear in so that I still see both of those colors distinctly. Um, once they're dried, I can come back and really just go right on top and not have to worry about any uh, mixing of paint. Although that might get us another really fun color and might be the way to go if you decide you want to mix a couple of these colors up. Maybe take some of our standard darker green here with no base and add some of this olive green to it to see if you get what kind of darker green color you get. And so just through, and actually I'll see if I can do it this way. Oh, there we go. And so I'm just continuing to dot around. Really, you'll see, you see I'm jumping between leaves with the paint so that I'm really just kind of gathering it along. Ooh, that might be a little too much. Let's bring some of that back. A little bit too much on the dotting tool that time. We'll come come back with more of that. Getting very close now to my my outline. I actually did mix a little bit up here, so that gives me that. So you start to see there really where we've got the nice. mix between the two there will get us focused in so my lighter colors come along here along the outer edge and then on this kind of in the middle but where as if that light was coming across um so give this a try take your time dot away let it sit for a day come back dot on top again get yourself um those colors really piled on we can see in this where some of those circles start to overlap and really just give yourself a chance if we did that original sketch that i had done you see here in the the vines closer to where it's the um, vein of the leaf has the bigger dot and then we kind of come out so i'd start there with that dot 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 till i got to my smaller dots as always, we hope you enjoy this project um, and we would love to see any of your completed works and look forward to next month's Canvas project. Thanks for watching.